Okay, the Floyd Rose is basically balanced. On, on the access, let's go. So we ended up doing a little bit of re-engineering here. This is how we stabilize that Floyd Rose. Now this is set up for dive only. If Jody decides that he wants to take this stop out, then it would be a floating tremolo where he could pull back or push down. This Corian actually goes right into that cavity and the, the block rests up against the corion and this side of the corion actually touches the wood on that cavity so it's not just a matter of the fastener holding the block spring assembly back it's actually this corion wedge now so just a little bit of re-engineering and that seems to have really stabilized this tremolo system All right here's the wrap up on this Les Paul access so this is the one with the with the carved heel here they've kind of basically sanded that away so that you don't run into sort of that square profile that you normally would on a Les Paul neck. It's just a regular tenon and mortise. They've just kind of sanded it away, right? And there's a relief cut here on the top of the uh, back as well. A couple more details and some issues that needed to be addressed to get this one to behave. I know that Jody had his heart set on getting the EVH D tuner installed for this low E string on this guitar but it's never gonna work and I'll tell you why. Well, because of the neck set on this guitar and the proximity of this fastener to the top of the guitar with this particular type of D tuner you need to push that large chrome fixture in underneath the spring tab on the underside of that E string and then you basically tune it up to E and then when you pull it out it drops down to D the problem is there isn't enough room to allow enough travel. So that's one reason why this is not going to work. The other reason, even if you did have enough room for that, here's the problem. As soon as you switch from E tuning to D tuning, when you tune up to E, the bridge will want to tip forward. When you pull that fastener out, the bridge will want to tip back. When you get a tremolo system that's as sensitive as this one, altering the string tension by even a pound just throws the other five strings out. So even if you got it working, you know, the E and the D, well then the other five strings are either going to go sharp or flat in relation to the increase or decrease of string tension. Now Jody does have an option to pull that whole thing off and just have a floating tremolo that allows you to go up and down. But that's the long and the short of it. Any type of drop D tuner, it still alters the string tension at the bridge. Anyway, right now, super stable. Bar works great. Action's great. It's been dressed and intonated. And that's about it on Jody's Les Paul Access. Over and out.